hello welcome to my channel i have a bins haul for you today this is crooked let me see we going down um okay yeah i have a bins haul today now i don't think it's as huge as some of my previous bins hauls i have not been there since the beginning of november and since then the price has gone up 20 cents a pound and yet i spent less than i normally do so I think there are going to be fewer items than normal. Also, I didn't really find coats or jackets, which I tend to um, pick up when I can. They're heavier, but they also bring more money in. So I didn't find much in, in the way of that. I was, I think, you know, there were a lot of things that I put back. So I tried not to, you know, I tried to really consider each piece. I don't know. There will still be ones in here that I'll be like, did I even think about this? And of course, there are regrets. There was a men's jacket I wish I had picked up. But anyway, um, if you've watched my channel before, you may have heard me say that I, am try I try not to source kids stuff. And that's easy in a regular thrift store because all you have to do is not go through the kids aisle. But it's harder at the bins because they're right there. And on this particular day, there were a lot of kids stuff. There were bins that were just kids stuff. And yet, I don't think I brought home a single one. So, hey, I'm making progress. Yay, discipline. All right, let's get into it. As always, if there's anything here that you're interested in, you're welcome to reach out to me um, or check out my closet. It's probably not listed yet, depending on when you watch this. Uh, I went to the bins yesterday. I actually do have two items already listed. So that's something. Okay, I actually picked up this bag. I like tote bags and stuff like that. I don't know why. Maybe because I try not to buy stuff for myself, but I can sort of rationalize these because they're functional and, you know, I can pack things in them. This is, uh, I don't know. I might actually be able to sell this. It's Saks Fifth Avenue. And it's a really pretty color, very lightweight. And it has that sort of snaky look to it. Oh, what do you think? All right, these... Um, you're going to hear, you'll hear this a lot from me. I don't normally source this or I don't buy this brand. Um, BCBG Max Azria is a very expensive, but it doesn't do well um, for me on Poshmark. And I've heard other people say the same thing. Like I have this gorgeous maxi dress that's 100% silk. I don't understand why that hasn't sold. It will someday, mark my words. But I just thought these were really nice. They're a size six, 100% wool fully lined. They have that nice like crossover belty look there and a uh, like a front pleat seam. Is there is there a name for that look? It's a, a wider leg. I would wear these. Uh, probably too big for me. And of course, I didn't buy them for myself. They feel really good too. They're 100% wool, but they're not, they're not scratchy at all. I mean, they, they're lined, so it's okay, but still it's a nice, it's a nice wool, I think. I think. Uh, this is Cowgirl Tough Company. So I was drawn by the name immediately. Size small, like a raglan sleeve. Um, I don't know if it's heathered or burnout. I'd say heathered, actually. With, like, this band across the bottom and a raw seam there. And it says, wild and free. And it's definitely a, oh, it's a bison or a buffalo. I didn't even realize that. I just felt it very Southwestern. Oh, I like this. I kind of want to wear this, though I'm neither wild nor free. It's for sale. It's for sale. I always have to remind myself of these things. But good backup plan on this one. Uh, this is Chico's Editions. Uh, I try not to pick up too much Chico's, but it will eventually sell. So for a dollar to, uh, if I like the piece, I like that it has these, um, those are not sequins. They are, oh, maybe they are sequins. Little round discs, multicolored, no collar. 
and it is a size three. Like if this was a zero, I would not have bought it. And it's like an overshirt jacket. And what's the last item in here? That is the last item in here. All right, moving on to the next bag. Oh, this bag I also bought. Part of the reason I don't bring my own bags in there is because I just take them from the bins and sometimes I'll just use them and then put them back or sometimes I'll buy them. So it's just a market bag that says Vera Bradley on it. And I thought, well, you know what? I don't have any Vera Bradley in my closet right now, but it's inevitable that I will find a Vera Bradley and buy it. So it would be a good gift with purchase if someone buys a, a Vera Bradley bag from me and I'll put that in with it or we'll keep it. Um, another brand I'm trying to stay away from, but I thought this was kind of fun. And it is an extra small. It's pink, but you know, it's got all the glitter and those stripes there. And it's just pink there. So it's very splashy. And somebody will want to add this to their collection. It's like a lightweight sweatshirt. That was somebody else's throwback. Um, I bought these shoes. I did look at comps, and the comps aren't amazing for this kind of shoe, but I've never sold them, and I liked them. I love the color of them. They're native. I've heard they're super comfortable. I actually want to try them on. There is some scraping there, which I don't think, yeah, no, that's not, it can't be cleaned. It's actually the blue wearing out, but otherwise they're in like excellent condition. They barely look worn, so I think they just last. I wonder if they would fit me. I can't remember if I even looked at the size. Oh my God, I can't even get my foot into it. I guess they're small. Maybe these are kids, I don't know. Where do they put the size on these things? Oh, here it is. It says it's a women's eight. That. Well, maybe if I had, maybe it's just because I'm not wearing any socks and my feet are sticking. I mean, eight's too small on me, but I should be able to get my foot into it. Anyway, very lightweight. Uh, okay, this is one of my pieces that need a little bit of work. It is a Betsy Johnson bag. I wanted to buy, well, I like Betsy Johnson. I've mentioned that. It's a big, you know, like almost tote bag. I picked up a, it smells like cigarette smoke. This is going to need to be, um... Maybe stuck in the freezer. I can't remember. I think the freezer works for cigarette smoke, but not for perfume. But anyway, I had bought a Betsy Johnson last week at Savers, um, which I never shared, and it had a flaw, and I don't know if I can fix it. I'm going to do my best to, to work something out, and as I have mentioned before, I can usually figure it out um, just to make my money back. But then I thought, well, let me pick this up and try to make some money off of Betsy. It was very clean on the inside. There's no crumbs or anything. I... It does have some staining. I think I'm just going to put it in the sink and sink in an oxy bath. Let it soak for a day and uh, see what happens with that. I'm really considering, you know, the work involved in some things now as well, because my time's very limited. I'm no longer working from home. I'm now working five days a week. So I really have to think about things that I maybe didn't think about as much before. Like that Columbia jacket I mentioned I didn't get, it had extreme ring around the collar. Um, now I have had luck getting rid of ring around the collar. I use OxyClean, Blue Dawn, and Hydrogen Peroxide, and I scrub it with a toothbrush. Um, so now I'm thinking, oh, I should have got it. It was a nice jacket. I really liked it. It was a men's jacket and kind of like a cotton canvas. Um, but, you know, the scrubbing, the, this is just going to soak. There's really not a lot of work. It's just a matter of throwing it in there and leaving it there. Um, and you'll see I have something else that is even dirtier. But it, I hope it's a good piece. In fact, somebody said, oh, that's a good bag you got. Anyway, this is PGB. Um by Geppetto. Uh, it's vintage, one size fits most. Ha! Ah, made in USA, paper tag. Look at that. I think they're fish. What do you think? Like clownfish? I think I know clownfish from, what? Finding Nemo, maybe? 
and it's, you know, bejeweled and everything. I looked closely, everything thing seems to be in place. The shoulder pads. I do like to pick up my vintage. Uh, this is style-wise not something I would normally pick up, but I'll show you why I did. It is Canada weather weather gear, and I like my Canada stuff, extra large. So I'm thinking the fabric is almost like a dry fit type thing. It's polyester, but you know, like it'll dry quickly. And it's a men's polo with this little pocket. And it's got this great thing on it. I mean, if it didn't have that and it was just like some other brand, I, there's no way I would have picked it up. No way. We all have our soft spots, right? Mine is things that say Canada on them and a few other things. Uh, this I bought because it is new with tag, Peter Nygaard, and it is a size 1X. Be cold makes my nose run. It's not even that cold today. $69. And I looked it over carefully there. We'll see what happens under the ring light, but it appears to be stain free. And it's a nice, comfy t shirty fabric. I feel like it's a blend, maybe viscous. And it's got uh, embroidery on it plain in the back. Let me see what, I'm curious what it's made out of now that I mention it. Oh, you know what? Oh, I didn't realize it was a button front. I thought it was just like a quarter button, but it buttons all the way. But, st oh no, it's a cold shoulder. Oh, I would not have picked this up if I knew it was a cold shoulder. For one thing, I'm pretty sure cold shoulder, I've never been able to sell a cold shoulder. I don't like cold shoulders at all. Um, but, Ugh. I have to list something with a cold shoulder. Darn it. How did I miss that? Well, I'm sure there's some people that still wear cold shoulders. I never did. I never will. I don't understand them. Yeah, 100% viscose. Well, I'm glad it's new with tag. Ugh. All right. Oh, I think this is another vintage item. And I think I have a, yeah, it is. I have a sweater in this brand that hasn't sold yet, but Heirloom Collectibles. Look at these fun buttons. And I'm just going to button a couple of them. Or maybe not, because they're hard to button. It has shoulder pads, so that's for me uh, a guarantee that it's vintage. Those kind of shoulder pads, look at that. What do you think? Coastal grandma, granny core, grandma, is it granny core or grandma core? I don't know. What do you think? It's nice heathered blue yarn, plain there. There's a couple of loose, uh, loose, threads. I'll just uh, put them in a needle and weave them back in. Um, these are shoes, so I'm not going to show those, right? Oh, I did show a pair of shoes. All right, I'll show these. The boots are last. I think I have three pair of boots. These are, you know, I saw them in the shoe bin and I left them and then I went back and I finally was like, this is a good quality Clark's shoe with a nice wedge, like a good work shoe. The leather feels really good. Velcro. It made the cut. I'm trying to see the size. I would say eight and a half. I like a Mary Jane. I always have. I can't say I wear Mary Janes much. Rarely have I worn Mary Janes, but I like them. Okay, this is one of the two items that's already listed. I am very cautious about picking up anything Disney because I don't have a lot of luck selling Disney. 
it's kind of one of those categories like Nike where you've, you you need to know it. Like you don't just pick up anything that says Disney or anything that says Nike. You have to kind of know what people are looking for in those brands. So I really just pick it up when I see a piece that speaks to me. Uh, this is Live Love Disney size extra large. I would have loved to be a backup for this because it's a onesie. It's so soft and it's got a drawstring waist. So you pull that in and jogger bottoms in the, you know, the mouse ears and the white ones are the bows. It's got a little pocket with a an embroidered applique of Minnie Mouse. And it's in like, I would, just between you and I, I would say this is like new condition. That is not a term I generally use when I list things. Okay. Another one that is a style I've never sourced this style. Um, it is a, but it is Roots and it says Canada. So up until this point, it's like, why wouldn't I wear this? Do, 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 do. Cause it's super cropped. Like I don't mind cropped where it's like boxy and it hits the waist, but this I will not do. I'm too old for it. And even if I wasn't, it's just not me but somebody will want this and I wanted to pick it up. Roots, it's Roots. A no brainer for me. Roots. Whee. Uh, <laughs> I did pick up a Nike because it was new with tag. It's a dry fit t-shirt. I don't pick up a lot of t-shirts. I've mentioned this, the return on investment is not much. So with, you know, Basically, I list three new items a day now. It used to be five, but I kind of had to dial it back a little bit with my work changing. And I just, you know, I love doing this and I love the extra money. It's making a big difference in my retirement fund, but I don't want it to become a stressful thing. So, and since I found delisting and relisting, it looks like I'm listing like 30 items a day. So good enough. And I've been selling some older things. Anyway, it's just Nike that's embroidered. The outline is embroidered and then the gray is fabric and this is just the t-shirt and it doesn't have a price tag, but it has this. So quite clearly new, maybe blue, am I blue, 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 blue. extra large, doesn't look that big. Huh. I wonder if it says like, is it men's, women's, it doesn't look like women's, it doesn't have any sort of structure to it. Like if it was women's, I feel like it would taper. I don't know, whatever, it says extra large. I will put measurements because I do that always, unless I've forgotten. This is Eddie Bauer. I like to pick up, I love the outdoor brands. Eddie Bauer, you know, isn't, isn't a slam dunk, but I like it. This is a quarter zip pullover, but it's not really fleecy it's more like a sweater fabric so i like that if it was fleece i would not have picked it up there's so many fleece quarter zips out there and so many brands that unless it's probably north face or patagonia i probably wouldn't pick it up unless there's something special about it um it does have pockets it's a nice beige extra extra large i like that as well feels nice i like it I like it. Obviously, I wouldn't have picked it up. This is something I meant to... This can't be good. Uh-oh. I wonder where that comes from. Oh, actually, it's just... That's it. Oh, okay. That's scary. Uh, I meant to think more about this one, and somehow this is one that I didn't... But I like it. It's also Disney, but... It's a U.S. large, and it's a flannel. Okay, I don't know if this is a flannel nightshirt or a, like, tunic-length shirt. I feel like it's a nightshirt, but I see no reason why you would have to wear it that way. And it all, it's, it's going into my Christmas pile for next year because it's got a little, even though, you know, normally it's not fair that, that Christmas has red and green wrapped up and nobody else can use it, but it also has the Christmas mini, so. Oh, thought there was a hole, but it has pockets. That's pretty cool. 
I will pick up some items for Christmas that I know won't have a huge return on investment because I do like to have some Christmas items. And the Christmas items I have left have all been there for at least one or two Christmases already. Some really nice sweaters that should sell, but I need to add some. Okay. I got a hat. Von Dutch. Some Von Dutch hats can sell really well. Some some don't sell as high, but there's plenty of soles of the Von Dutch. So I decided to try it. I'm guessing that this is not a high dollar Von Dutch. There were a lot of baseball caps. Um, a lot. Much more than usual. And uh, I think this is the only one I bought, though it's not the only one I considered. So at our bins, um, you know, we have shoe bins, we have clothing bins, we have hard good bins, and then we have basically like the linen bin bins. And included in the linen bins is often um, pieces of luggage, rugs, um, handbags, belts, ties. <clears throat> and that, I mean, people think this is an easy job. Physically, I was there five hours and 50 minutes and it's physically exhausting because especially those bins were piled high and good luck digging under that rug and that, you know, huge comforter that weighs 30 pounds to get to like the hat that's under there or the bag. So who knows what gets missed? Um, I never go there first. So in a way that's helpful because people have already pre-dug to a certain degree. There's already stuff all over the floor. Those are tough bins. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. I, I'm going to give it to my mom. Actually, maybe she'll want to give it to her great granddaughter next year. No, no, she, she's not old enough. Uh, it's a dreidel game. A new inbox dreidel game. I couldn't resist it. I don't know. Um, <laughs> these are Lucky Brand men's. I always hear that Lucky Brand does better in men's than women's. I don't have luck with Lucky Brand in women. They have the, as far as I'm concerned, they make the cutest tops and I can't sell them on my own. In fact, I had one in my cart that I was just like, have you learned nothing? You can't sell Lucky Brand tops. Put it back. And it, but I liked it because it had like a sheer crochet, like a wide, wide is that? A loose crochet stitch that's very sheer. So you'd have to wear something underneath and I was like, no, no, no. Okay, this is a size 3430, and they're just a basic pant, not a not jeans at all. It feels, you know, soft, whatever that is. Very basic, good size. Of course it was at the bins, because uh, it was a red tag, and the red tags only go on sale once a month for 50%, and even then, that's too much. They, they still think Lucky Brand is like a great brand, and it's, you know. I don't think it is, at least not for, from our end. And I don't think from theirs, or it wouldn't be there. Uh, I have purchased this, this brand of vintage robe there before. I purchased, I think, four or five of them, and I still have a couple available for sale, but I have definitely made my money on them with the few that I sold. Um, it's Stan Herman, which I don't think, I think Stan Herman is still around, but this is clearly a vintage one. I mean, the style of it. 100% cotton. I'm looking to see if it says where it was made. In Mexico. Hmm, interesting. But it's chenille, like that old-fashioned uh, bedspread chenille with these swirls of extra chenille. Cream-colored. It looked pretty clean. They've got more of that there. I love the style of it. It's got pockets. Those flowers go all the way to the bottom and hang on. I'm just trying to figure out if it's maxi. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it is a maxi. So what a great like house dress robe thing. I think. Uh, there was another uh, Stan Herman there, but I didn't pick that one up. Because like I said, I didn't sell them all. So it's not going to fly out. But I like this one a lot. Another brand that I don't do well. Okay, there's all things about this that tell me I shouldn't have bought it, and I did buy it. First of all, it's Lulu's, and I don't necessarily do well that with, with Lulu's. I love to source lace overlay, and I can't sell. It doesn't sell. I have several lace overlay dresses in my closet, and yet still I picked this up. It's a size medium. It's got this, like, I think you call this, like, a ladder stitch. 
it's just so pretty. Look at that skirt. It's lined, of course. It appeared to be very clean. Once in a while, at these prices, you just buy something, even though you know, you know that that you know you know the, the uh, even though it has not historically done well for you. I think that's it for clothes, actually. Huh. I don't know how many pieces I have here, but it's not that much. But I'm I'm hoping to go back again in like I can't this coming week or the in like maybe three or four weeks. Um, so this is Arnold Grummer's dip hand mold for paper making. So I have one of these, but in a smaller size. And when I was purging my craft stuff, because I am a recovering uh craftaholic. When I was purging, there were some things that I kept for, you know, someday when I am not don't have a job and I'm retired and I can do a little more crafting. So, like, I kept all my crystals, I kept all my seed beads, um, and I kept the little one like this, but this one's a bigger one. And I love the idea of making things out of basically trash. Like, you can use lint from the uh, dryer, I believe, and I don't know. I couldn't resist it. It'll go with my other one. I'm sure it's not something I could sell for enough to make it worthwhile. Okay, what have I got in here? These are, oh wait, there is a couple more clothing items. Okay, two more. This is a pair of shorts. They are J. Jill, size 14. I've been looking at shorts a lot and I've been putting shorts into my cart a lot and then I've been putting the shorts back, so. These, I just like the style of it. It's a decent brand, not one that necessarily does great for me, but I will be wanting to add a few pair of shorts to my closet. So these are like the only ones that I've picked up that made the cut so far. Uh, this is a brand I've never found before. I meant to, it's missing, uh, well, let me show you where what it is. It's figs. I've never found figs before. And these are a size, what size is it? Um, oh, here it is. 2XL Echo, Echo Tech. Super lightweight fabric. Feels like air. But it's missing the drawstring. I meant to, I should have remembered that because I was going to pull the drawstring out of a pair of something else and use it on this. And then I forgot. So if I don't have anything in the house, the next time I go, I'll look for something with a drawstring and just buy the drawstring. But they're in great shape. I remembered to check the inside of the thighs, which is, you know, especially in plus sizes, the area that's usually, they can look brand new and then you look in there and they're just like rubbed to, to tissue. Um, so that's something I can uh, take off my list of, of brands I'd like to find and I've never found. By the way, if you saw my last, um, the collab video I did with the bolos of what we got last year and what we want this year, you'll notice I didn't get any of those. What are you going to do? That's the thing with the bolo list and why I'm not, why I keep them in the back of my mind, but I don't necessarily like focus on having a list because I, I get what I get. You know, I can't just go to the store and say, show me all your whatever brand. Your Arcteryx. I really wanted to find Arcteryx this time. Anyway, uh, this is the bag that needs some work but it's Patagonia. It's a, uh, is it going this way? Yeah, it goes like that. So it's stained. I'm going to probably put this in an OxyClean bath for like a week. I have to find a bucket because, or a sink that I don't use. I'll put it in the guest room sink. Um, and hopefully it'll come out at least a little bit cleaner. Okay. One more bag. Oh, I got a pair of socks. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but they're Christmas socks and they're new because they're still like, <clears throat> so I don't know. These might go with, you know, somebody buys a decent Christmas sweater or something for me, from me. I could put this in there. 
Or I could wear them. I don't mind finding cheap socks for myself. I don't really care what they look like. My toes go through my socks really easily. So, okay, this is one of those situations where I found something. I've never heard of it, but something told me this feels like good quality. I feel like this could be something. It's filthy, but I'm hoping that it just needs a good wipe down. Not even a soaking because this kind of fabric just should wipe right out, assuming it's dirt and not stains. But the brand is Will Leather Goods from Eugene, Oregon. It just felt really good. The Look at the tag. So I looked it up and the comps were very respectable. So let's keep our fingers crossed that this cleans up nicely. It's just a basic messenger bag, I guess. It's not a laptop bag, but you certainly you know, could put your laptop or your iPad in there if you have a sleeve for it. Mm -hmm. I bought a pair of flip-flops. They're Tommy Bahama, which is not a big deal, but I liked them. Reflexology, Tommy Bahama. This, this nice leather with the sort of braided stuff there in very good condition. And they are a size, oh, they even have a style name. That's good, Jasper, uh, size 10D. So yeah, men's flip-flops, good for the summer. Not a high ticket item. Uh, and I've got a pair of slippers. These are Sorrells. They appear to be in pretty good condition. They're a little mushed. Um, I think I will, like, first of all, I'm going to stuff them, and then I'll spritz them a little bit and to try and sort of unmat the fur. But it's not, it really isn't bad. I wonder if there's a size. Oh, there is. Mm. Size 10, women's. Women's size 10. Oh, I wonder if these would fit my mom. I wonder if she could wear these. I don't know if she needs anything like this. I mean, these could absolutely be worn outside. They don't need to be slippers. Look at this bottom. Huh. Sorrel, another Canadian brand. All right, that's it. I have, excuse me while I get the last bag, which I think is only the three pair of boots I have left. Okay. Men's cowboy boots. They're scuffed. They're scuffed there. I will clean them up a bit, but I mean, the scuffs are scuffs. I mean, they're not, there's just not the dye. There's like actual, sorry, my nails are gross. Um, so are my hands. Uh, it's not just a discoloration, so it's not gonna be fixed, but still they're in pretty good condition. They don't have a lot of heel drag can't see the nails through there. These are Tony Llamas. Leather. I think this is, I think this is, this is, I think this is leather, but with an ostrich look. Some more scuffing, but you know, that's the way boots are supposed to look. Oh, I didn't notice how this big scuff there. I won't, I won't get a ton for them. But they're nice boots. Tony Lama's a good brand. Uh, another pair of men's boots. I don't mind buying this kind of boot in, you know, semi-beat-up condition, as long as they're wearable and don't need to be immediately resold. These are Justin's. I feel like these might be vintage. I don't know if you can see the tag in there, but it looks old. has this, you know, this typical stuff there and then more of a snaky look here and here. And, oh, no, I got a pair of something else in here too. I got some Birkenstocks. There actually were a lot of Birkenstocks, but they were messed up. Now, I don't mind buying Birkenstocks that have the toes here, you know, discolored on the inside. But the other ones, the, the cork, is that cork? 
yeah, it was broken up and that I won't buy. I did buy a pair that had the cork like cracked through um, accidentally and I glued them and they seem to be okay, but I'm not gonna sell them. I'm gonna keep those because I don't really know if that's a long lasting fix. So anyway, so these are the only ones that were in, I mean, they're worn, but they're Birkenstocks and Birkenstocks, people will buy them like that. And you can actually purchase new rubber bottoms for Birkenstocks. They're suede. The suede, while discolored a little bit, is in good shape. I don't know. Also won't list them way high, but they should sell. And last but not least, I'm start, I'm ending the video with the first item that I found. And that's these Sorel boots. This is the Caribou. And they are women's size 8. Uh, they recommend buying a size down. I suspect these would fit me very well, so I'm not putting my foot in them. I have an old, old pair that are similar, They're probably the old caribou. They're totally beaten up, but I love them. They're overkill for where I live, so look at the bottoms, though. Really good shape. I mean, they're clearly worn. They've got some, like, discoloration there. It looks sort of like blooming, like you get on uh, rain boots. I didn't try to fix that. I just listed it. These are the, this is the other item that I have listed. Um, so they were less like, when I get in there, okay, the shoe people are insane. They just shovel, 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 shovel stuff onto the floor and then it's theirs. Like I can, I, I'm surprised they haven't thought to have two people go to a bin, just dump it on the floor, everything in the bin and go, these are mine. Um, at one point they told people to stop doing that and then they kind of dropped it. Um, but those people are generally do a lot of sneakers, uh, that type of thing. They're sneaker heads, I guess. I looked at one of their carts and like, it's filled with dirty, disgusting sneakers. So I don't know if they buy them that way or if they just wait until, you know, a half hour before they close and then go through them and take what they want and get rid of it. But anyway, while they're digging, 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 these were sitting right there at the top, like looking at me saying, take me home, take me home. And I said, yes, come to mama. Now, I have had two pair of Sorrells in my closet for a very long time that aren't selling. So it's not like this is an amazing thing. Like this is going to sell so fast and so high. It isn't. But it's something I will always buy for the right price. Always. All right. That is everything. What would you think? Uh, what was your favorite? It's not a, it's not a, you know, it's not like, wow, look at these amazing things you got, but a lot of good staples for my closet. Um, and I needed some stuff. My death pile has gotten smaller and it's kind of uninspiring right now. Plus a lot of it is very springy and summery, which I, I'm listing, but I wanted some, you know, more like four season stuff. I mean, I'm not really, I don't really need to buy it. We're in an odd time, you know, like, I don't think people are really buying winter stuff because we can see spring at the end of the road um but we don't necessarily want to go out in january and buy a tank top i don't know what do you think about that thank you for joining me um if you enjoyed this video you can give it a thumbs up if you are not a subscriber i would love it if you would hit the subscribe button and the bell which will let you know uh, when i upload a new video thank you and i will hopefully see you on the next one